Today I have to deal with something which I dread quite a bit. Immigration. I never knew how much I took for granted the freedom of movement that the Schengen area and the European Union offered me until I moved over here to live. Applying for a tourist visa can already be a little bureaucratic, but at least it's a one-time thing and it's over with. But when you talk about moving to a different country to live for some time, it's a whole different story. The good thing about living in a community with 50 people from 18 different countries is that there are loads of people who have experience with this. So there's always someone who I can go to to ask for help or guidance with immigration. I can't imagine what it's like for those people who have to move to a different country and have to sort all of this out on their own. It must be a nightmare. Anyway, I better get going because I have a feeling that Today is going to be quite a long day, so let me get my stuff in order. The reason I dread these things, or at least one of the reasons, I think, is because it makes me feel so vulnerable. With all the bureaucracy involved, one slip up might jeopardize me being allowed to stay here or having my visa renewed or a fine if it's not that serious. I'm not sure about all the technicalities, but that's what it feels like to me. And if that's what it feels like to me, I'm sure other people feel pretty similar when they have to deal with immigration in different countries, when they move to different countries. For me, it's not that serious because I'm just studying over here. But when someone has to move to be able to earn an income to support their family, then obviously the burden is much bigger. This was an unexpected formative aspect of coming to live and study over here, dealing with the worry of immigration policies and bureaucracy. It makes me sensitive to what so many people go through when they immigrate. So the office is in one of those buildings, right about there, one of those two. Um, and I'm not going to film inside because it's immigration and I'm pretty sure they won't allow me. And I don't want to make this any harder than it's got to be. I just want to go in, get it done and get out. So I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so that's done. I'm not sure exactly what I did, but I gave them the forms they wanted, showed them my documents, paid the fees and that's done. Now that that burden's off my chest and I'm already out, I wanted to go do something else, but it's a bit late, so I don't think I'll manage. I thought it would be nice that, you know, since I came to deal with immigration and the Philippines allowing me to stay and all of that, I thought it would be nice to give something back to the country. And the best way I know how to do that is by giving blood. But it's a little late to do that today, so I'll have to do it another day. Anyway, I'll catch you next week. <laughs>